Kentucky High School Football on the Central Iowa Sports Network. CISN.TV is the state's premier source for high school sports streaming. Cut! Touchdown, Waukee! Waukee on the throw. Randall complete for the first down. Waukee Football on CISN.TV is brought to you by Schottenkirk Chevrolet. Shields. The Better Business Bureau. Central Bank and Mid-American Energy. Now, let's go to our CISN.TV crew for Waukee High School Football. Good evening and welcome to Waukee High School on a blustery, cool October evening as we get ready for district football. Dar Danielson with you alongside Joe Danielson here tonight in a District 6 matchup, Waukee hosting Atumwa. Joe, Indianola, Johnson, and Waukee all come into this at 2-0. Indianola and Johnson are meeting tonight, so something's going to happen here with the leader of this uh, district. Waukee could stay right up on the top with the win tonight over Atumwa. Atumwa coming in at 0-2 in the district. So, And uh, looking across, there's several of those districts where you're into the third week and you're starting to see some of these teams that have – Gone through the first two games unbeaten in the district, but that's all going to kind of shake out tonight. Yep, a lot going, a lot in play tonight here for Waukee as they're looking at uh, getting a share of that lead of the district, right? With yep, and uh, Indianola and Johnston. Yeah, they could stay right up there on top. Indianola and Johnston both there. One of those teams is going to take their first loss, and then. Um, uh, Waukee plays Johnston, I believe, in the last game. They play Indianola next week in a game we'll have here. So some key weeks uh, here ahead for Waukee in, in deciding district play after getting off, losing the first couple games close to those uh, top-rated teams. Uh, a chance now, though, to win this district and get the automatic qualifier. Yep, and they're sitting at 3-3 three and three here so far. And uh, just what we talked about a few weeks back was they're right where they want to be here, playing strong at the start of district play, going for their third win tonight here against Atumwa. Atumwa's they've been at one and five so far here. Yeah, and, and again, one of those uh, teams where Atumwa's got a, a big uh, task ahead of them here tonight to face Waukee at home. Yep, and it's a long drive, and the weather isn't so good. But it, it'll you know it'll take their best game here tonight to get the W. And you look at it here, Waukee's RPI, the first one came out uh, this week. They're at number 20. Of course, Cedar Falls on top. Valley is uh, second. Centennial third. Dowling fourth. Cedar Rapids Kennedy. That helps Waukee in that those teams that they lost to keep winning and have a good record. So, you know, that moves them up. But uh, it's all seeding, too, when you – get the wins and then you get into the playoffs you want to win as much as you can because you get a higher seed and uh the, if you win you usually get the host at home yep and waukee's been rolling in the past two games here uh not really a competition for waukee so far they took care of east last week 46 to 7 and then before that M mason city 61 0 so yeah so the keys to the games again here tonight for waukee is uh you know get to their business of what they need to do here against Atumwa. No turnovers. We've seen that. They've been better at not turning the ball over in those early games when they lost. It was turnovers that, that hurt them. And then just finish it, you know. Even if you get the lead against a team, you can't ease up. you got to finish it through. And uh, sometimes it's easy. You get a couple score lead and you want to, you know, just ease off, but you can't do that. Yep, and for Atumwa, we, it's going to be a game of ball control. If they can keep the ball and hold it to themselves, get a long drive going here. We see on their depth chart they have a lot of guys playing both ways. So that's the key is to... Give them a chance to rest on offense or defense. And, you know, get your guys' energy back up to get back out there. Yeah, and probably especially offense, you keep the ball, you wind the clock down, and the thing is if you keep the ball, you don't let it get into Mitch Randall's hands. He can't hand it off to Lindquist or throw it to Odell. Or, you know, they have so many weapons offensively with that big line there too, don't they? Yep, and that will be the t tough task for the uh, Bulldogs' defense there also. Keep a track of Randall. He's been on a tear lately as we've seen. 
Um, if you look at his stats, I believe he's 10 touchdowns to three interceptions and seven rushing touchdowns as well. Yeah, and even caught one two games ago we saw on that little uh, reverse pass to him. So he's done a little bit of everything. And I think he's settled in a little more too in that there was a feeling I think he thought he had to do everything himself, but now he's settled down a little more where he can find Odell. He can get it to Lindquist. He can get it to say that and, and spread it around a little more and knows that he doesn't have to do everything himself. Yep, and it's a big game for him. As we learned in the pregame, he's from Ottumwa. He yep. moved out of there in, was it 7th or 8th grade? And yep. Knows so, most of the guys. He yeah, he knows a lot of these kids, so a little bit of a, a motion for him tonight playing against them. But, uh, you know, you got to put that all aside here tonight and uh, go out and, and get to business as we see uh, watching the tunnel there is Waukee getting ready to come out of the uh, tunnel. And it's always kind of cool you see these young kids that are playing in the little Waukee uh, football league, you know, and they race down the field. And it, it's always an exciting thing for them to be here and, and see the, the varsity players come out, isn't it? Yep, and uh, they, they let them all uh, unleash them all at once earlier. <laughs> they were trying to go team by team, and they all just – Opened up. Yeah, they had some, it looks like they might have some good prospects speed-wise there, aren't they? The way that a couple uh, of those kids raced down the field, they didn't take them long. Well, Coach is watching that 40 time. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, getting ready. Here we come out here tonight as they're down the tunnel. And 40 degrees with a wind chill of about 26. I don't think the coolness is going to be so bad for the players because they have all the equipment on. The The big issue is uh, the wind as we see these flags, Joe, and that's that's really going to probably be one of the biggest weather factors. Yep, it? and it gusts through here uh, out of the corner of the end zone, and we see all the yeah the flags whipping up up here in the booth. The door opens and everything flies around. So <laughs> Yeah, up here in the press box when they open that back door, all our papers just went flying like crazy. And that could be, maybe affect the passing a little bit, uh, punting, and then if they are forced to kick a field goal. Kate Jaden's had a pretty good uh, season so far, kicking field goals. He's uh, 21 of 23 and a long of 44. And, uh, you know, so we'll, we'll see. And I don't think the Tumwa looking at I don't think he's attempted a, a field goal yet tonight. No, he's 10 of 10 PATs, but no field goal attempts for their kicker tonight. So... It's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out here. Well, let's uh, let's take a break. We'll do that. We'll come back, and we'll be just about ready for the get this game kicked off here. It's Waukee hosting a Tell One District 6 matchup here tonight on CISN.TV. Moms typically get to make a majority of the health care decisions for their family. That can be a lot of pressure, but not for me, because I know the choice is ours. For medical tests like MRIs, x-rays, CAT scans, and of course mammograms, ask your doctor to refer you to Iowa Radiology. They work around our hectic schedules. They're the best at what they do, and they're so great with my family. They truly care, and it shows. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule an appointment. Iowa Radiology. Why do I look for the SEAL? It's about trust. Whether I'm buying a car, hiring a contractor, finding a tax preparer, or an honest mechanic, the Better Business Bureau SEAL means this business meets high standards. When I see the SEAL, I know I'll get what I pay for. No more taking chances and no more worries. And I feel good about supporting local businesses. My life is so much easier knowing I can always trust BBB accredited businesses. It pays to look for the seal. See for yourself at bbb.org backslash Schottenkirk Ford Indianola's kickoff event. This month only. Take $16,000 off MSRP on every brand new 2019 Ford F-150 Crew Cab XLT 4x4 in stock. Plus, first responders receive an additional $1,000 bonus cash on new 2019 F-150 Super Duty, Expedition, and Ranger. New 2019 Fusion and Escape starting at just $18,999. Ford fans drive to Indianola to by Ford. It's a kickoff event. Schottenkirk Ford, Indianola. SchottenkirkFord.com. Every month or so, there's another story in the media about when and how often we need to get our mammograms. Kind of confusing. When this happens, I like to consult with experts. So I called Iowa Radiology. They recommend women get an annual mammogram starting at age 40. They know that it's the best way to detect cancers early and save lives. And that's good enough for me. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule your mammogram. Iowa Radiology, our focus is your good health. Back here at Waukee, the captain's out 
And it looks like Waukee has won the toss and deferred. Atumba will receive the ball here to start this ball game. Talking about some of the other matchups, Dowling Catholic is at Sioux City East. Both those teams at 2-0 in District 1. Uh, another CISN.TV game, Fort Dodge is at Ankeny Centennial. Centennial 2-0 in that district. Marshalltown at Roosevelt, they're 2-0 uh, Roosevelt is. Then uh, Council Bluff Save Lincoln and another CISN.TV game is at uh, Valley of West Des Moines. They're 2-0. Oh. So Atumwa, they'll be in the uh, white and red uniforms. A little reminiscent of the Huskers of Nebraska there. And uh, Waukee will come out with their gray uniforms with their purple colors and the white pants here tonight. As we get ready to kick it off. Back deep is Dominic Delhoy and Colton McKinnon for Atumwa. And they'll take the kick from K. Jaden. And looks like, well, that wind will be right at K. Jaden's back, Joe, so I'm, I'm betting it might be a touchback here. <laughs> we map, we'll see if we get a return. He's got six kickoff returns for 80 yards on the season. And here's Jaden. And this one's going to come up a little short. Taken about the five, it'll run out of bounds just shy of the 20. Colton McKinnon looks like. First and 10 at the, uh, I'll spot that at the 18 yard line for Atumwa. So Adam Denniston will be the quarterback, Mitch Wood and Gage Cole, the running backs. Wing back is Colton McKinnon, and there's right up the middle. Mitch Wood gets a couple up to the 20 for Atumwa. Yep, and they came out in a heavy set, looking to run the ball early. I set right here. Now they switch the... Wing back over to the left and hand it off right up the middle and trying to bowl his way through there is Colton McKinnon. No, oh, he'll get. He'll get two more on. Two that. more. Third and six. So, big third down here early on for Atumwa. Set up. Hand off, and he's going to go nowhere. Kai Glosser. Key Glosser. Hit in the backfield. And he'll lose three. So he'll be fourth and nine. Yeah. Yep. And there's the kick. It goes over the head of Morrison back there to receive it. And it's a nice punt there. From yeah, he Marquee. into the wind. He got a good punt out of it. 52-yard punt. Not a bad punt there. So first and ten. At the 30 for Mitch Randall for Waukee. And fumbles the snap. He's going to get ripped down and pulled down back at the 15. So I think that was Kelvin Howard. Colton Carnahan for the sack. Well, the mishandled snap and the 
They lose 15. Now there's a handoff. Lindquist up to the 22. He gets a few of those back. And Andy Palma, one of them in there on the tackle. Third and 19. Randall rolls right. Looks out. Now he'll run it. And he's going to get knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. He'll pick up a few there. Ten. But it'll put him in fourth and 11. So... Right away, Joe Atumba, what they want to see here is try to maybe switch the field a little bit here. Yep, a strong, strong showing on the first, first defensive series, and now we can see, yeah, they're playing for field position as the returners right at their 40. Terrence Smith in punt formation for the Warriors, number 90. High snap, but he gets it, just gets it off, almost blocked. And now it bounces and it takes a hop back the other way and almost goes back across the 50 for Waukee. So a 21-yard punt, it ends up with the bounce and roll back. So Tumwin in good position, Joe. Yep, right at the 50-yard line. And uh, we saw them come out and run three running plays to three different running backs on their first series. We'll see what they do here. Oh, full backfield set there, right up the middle, plowing through there for good yardage. It's like a late fumble on the play. And yeah, it was. Waukee got it. You're right. He, the ball carrier kept going on ahead, but the ball got stripped. And the first turnover goes to Waukee. Well, we talked about it. Turnovers are a key that, especially for a Tumwa coming in here, you can't have. Yep, and, and we'll see. That just erases their good field position on the yeah. 50 there. Well, first and 10 at the 46 for Waukee. Hand off to the deep back, Smith. He cuts it up, cuts it back across the field, cuts it outside. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Aaron Smith. Goes 46 yards. Or 54 yards, excuse me. On one play. Yep, and that's what we talked about there was that big big quick strike ability from Waukee. After the capitalizing on the fumble recovery of the Bulldogs. Boy, the momentum and everything just shifted on that one play, didn't it? Here, Otomo's at the 50. Looked like they're getting a good pickup up the middle, and then boom. Waukee comes right back. Here's Cade Jaden. And he hits that one. We'll take a break. Come back with a kickoff after this on CISN.TV. Schottenkirk Ford Indianola's kickoff event. This month only. Take $16,000 off MSRP on every brand new 2019 Ford F-150 Crew Cab XLT 4x4 in stock. Plus, first responders receive an additional $1,000 bonus cash on new 2019 F-150 Super Duty, Expedition, and Ranger. New 2019 Fusion and Escape starting at just $18,999. Ford fans drive to Indianola to buy Ford. It's a kickoff event. Schottenkirk Ford Indianola. SchottenkirkFord.com. Every month or so, there's another story in the media about when and how Back often at Waukee. they get their mammograms. Kind of confusing. When this happens, well, I it was a, a punt. So I tell them got the ball at the 50. They First were, play, they fumble it to Waukee. Waukee takes over at the 46. Hand off to Aaron Smith. One play, he takes it in. And Waukee is up 7-0. And now, Joe, how will Latumbo respond? It's going to be a big... Uh, play for them to try to come back here yep and well we haven't we've seen him coming out and ru running the ball so far four plays yeah I haven't tried to pass yet here's a little short kick taken fumbles it the ball still loose on the ground and looks like Waukee may have it they do 
at the 23 yard line. So the squib kick pays off there. Catches the Bulldogs off, off guard a little bit and they're not able to field that kick. We've seen Waukee try a couple different. They tried it onside where they got in one game. They tried another one they didn't get. Now here they do that short kick and now they're set up first and 10 at their own 23 yard line. Mitch Randall. There's a man in motion. That's Smith. Fakes it to Smith. Rolls out. Hits the back out of the backfield, and he'll be pushed out after picking up about 10. Lindquist with the pass. And... That'll be a first and 10 at the 13. Hand off over the right side, diving in. Or oh, Randall kept it, I guess. He faked the handoff and kept it, and Randall ran it in from 13 yards out. Yep, and he's get on, gets on the board early here with eight minutes to play in the first quarter. So Waukee took him just 17 seconds there to score again after that fumbled kickoff. Well, first first drive was one play. This was two plays. Yep. Lindquist run and then Randall run. And here's Jaden to try the extra point and rolling out, looking, looking, throws it, no good. So that'll make it thirteen to nothing. Let's take a break. We'll be back after this on CISN.TV. Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Back at Waukee, 8.23 to play here in the first quarter. 13-0 Waukee. They've scored off of two fumbles. One at their own 46. They took it in one play. Then uh, the fumbled kickoff. They got it to 23. Two plays. They take it in. Mitch Randall runs it in. And it's 13-0 Waukee. They tried to go for two on the extra point. Did not make it. So they're kicking off here again to Ottumwa. Looks like Dominic Delhoy and Colton McKinnon back there again. Let's see if he kicks it long or kicks that short kick again. Last time he kicked a short one. And this one is going to go a little bit longer. I mean, Yohoi drops it, picks it up, and then gets spun around. Has it ripped away? Touchdown, Waukee. Ripped out of the hands by uh, Dylan Bass. A walkie on the board again, going for two again. This time it's knocked down. Two-point extra point attempt for the Warriors. He's no good at saying complete in the end zone. Pass was intended for Eddie Sadat, junior number 89. Intended for Sadat. And that'll make it 19 nothing here. You think maybe the wind is having to deal with those extra points, or are they just... <laughs> Yeah, I think, I don't know there if they were just chasing to kind of catch up on that one after the first one. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so now it's 19 nothing here. All in the matter of, uh, let's see. About 35 seconds? 
Yep, 35 seconds. Oh, game clock. <laughs> game seconds. A game Not seconds. Not real yeah. seconds. But yeah, game clock seconds, 35 seconds. They've scored three times here. And three turnovers they've turned into points. Yeah, for trouble on trouble fielding the kicks yeah, so the far kick for Otomo. Well, and the thing was they had a, a nice play on that dive up the middle there, but then they he fumbled it, you know. If he keeps that, maybe they get a little drive going and keep the Waukee offense over there, but right now this Waukee defense is just bad and the special teams is really yeah. showed well, up. That ball might be a hot potato now. Nobody wants to take the return. <laughs> K. Jaden ready to go again. And this one he'll lift up. And it comes in there. Bounces. Picked up by McK or, uh, Colton McKinnon, looks like. and I know Andrew Cole, excuse me. And he gets hammered down. But he does not turn it over. And it'll be first and ten. At the uh, 16. Just so far on offense for the Bulldogs. They've ran four rushing plays so far. That's it. Adam Dennison under center. Hands it off and looking for room, and there's just a wall of defenders in there. And he'll lose, I think, a yard. Well, maybe two. Connor Arndt on the tackle. Caleb Paulus, Karsten Lampy, Connor Arndt, Kale Thorson up front there. Ben Halber, Cole Spikesman, Chase Evanson, the linebackers, Bill Mukhtar, Simon Lofsgar, Joe Morrison, and Aaron Smith in the backfield, defensive backfield, and there's a spin. Gage Cole on the run, and he'll get nothing. Oh, lose a few, looks like. It'll be third and 15 at the 11. We're going to see a pass here, do you think? Well, they've come out six rushing attempts so far. <laughs> no passes. Third and 15 at the 11. And again, they'll hand it off, trying to turn the corner, and he can't get there is Gage Cole. He'll pick up. Well, no, he'll lose one. I thought he was going to get a yard, but he's going to lose a yard. Fourth and 16 at the 10. Jesus Jamie to punt. Gets not a bad punt. But it bounces and again gets a good a tumble roll. It'll roll across the 50 down to the 46. That's where Waukee got it the last time there and Ran it in in one play. Yep. Another nice punt, though, from. Uh, so 6.19 to play here in the first half. I know our clock is not on the screen, so we'll keep you updated on that. As Mitch Randall brings out the offense once again. Garrett Sperling, Ross Palmer, Braden Menz, Bo Schaller, and Alex Wiggins up front there for Randall, takes a low snap, throws it out to Odell. Odell is pulled down and there's a flag comes flying in from the far side. Is that our first penalty of the night? I think it is, isn't it? So waiting for it. Personal foul. Hands to the face, face mask on a Tumwa. So that'll move at 15. All the way down to the Waukee 33. Penalty, uh, 
And Lindquist drags a tackler up close to the first down. Andrew Cole played running back. He's going to come in and play a little bit of defensive back also. 5850 pound senior. So Randall under center. Fakes the pitch to the back. Keeps it himself. Spins through a tackle. Goes up 10. 5. Touchdown. Mitch Randall takes it 24 yards. his second rushing touchdown here. Yep, and so that's far. nine on the season for him. He's almost up to the same for his passing touchdowns. He's got ten coming in. Here's the kick by Jaden. And it's good. Well, we saw his elusiveness on display there again as he... 26 nothing. what's that? Started up the middle and got to the outside. Yep. As you can see why he's got so many rushing touchdowns. Yeah, once he gets to that corner, he just turns the burners on and he's hard to stop. And what began around the 849 mark is a promising <laughs> field position for a tumble. Blew up on him with the fumble. And Waukee has now scored four straight times here. And leads 26 to nothing. And Jaden comes out to kick it off. Got Cole, one of them back there deep to receive. For a Tumwa. And a short kick again. Taking him fumbled, and he'll come up with it. With his Dominic Delhoy. That kick will give him not too bad a field position at the 25. Five twenty-two to play here in the first quarter. Waukee up twenty-six nothing. Got about five minutes. Five minutes twenty-two seconds left in that first quarter. <laughs> there comes Denniston. He handed up up the middle, pushing the pile a little bit. Mitch Wood. So they're sticking with the game plan, running here. Yep, and while the, their motion works, but unfortunately, Waukee's front line has just been so big that yeah, the misdirection hasn't mattered. It's to the point where they don't have to worry about it too much. Caleb Paulus, Karsten Lampy, Connor Art, and Kill Thorson. The big heavies up front there for Waukee on defense are shutting things down, and there's a jump. Connor Art, just as we talked about them, how <laughs> good they are. Connor Art got a little bit of a quick jump there in the first penalty of the night against Waukee. Yep, so they're even now. So that sets them up in a second and four for Atumwa. And there's a pass. Oh, just about picked off. And I tell you what, Joe, if he had been able to get that a little higher to Wood, Wood had a lot of room out there. Yeah, he had one man to beat. But I think there was a little pressure on uh, Denniston back there as they've been running and running and kind of fooled Waukee that time. He had the guy in the flat, Wood. 
But the throw was low and then almost picked off. So here we go. Third and four at the 31 for Tumwa. He's trying to get any kind of drive sustained here. Drops back, throws it out and over the head of Andrew Cole. Aaron Smith was right in there on coverage. So he was going to have to make the catch and get hit right away if he did, but the pass was a little high. Looks like they're going to keep him out there or no? No. Looked at it for a minute, but Joel Morrison will drop back deep. Jesus Jamie in the kick. And he gets that off. Nice kick. And Morrison takes it over the shoulder at the 29. Gets through. Up to the 45-50. 45-40. One man to beat now. 25-20. 15-10-5 touchdown. 79-yard punt return. Or 71, I guess that would be, but there's a penalty flag down. Let's see if that stands. They're talking it over now. Big conference there among the officials. You can see. Either that or they're saying, you go get the hot chocolate while we set up the extra point because it's cold out here. I don't, we'll see. 4.02 to play here. And they're still discussing it. And the flag's all the way back. Yeah, the flag, out. Flag, yeah Buck here on the 30, isn't it? So, here comes a referee. Oh, motion on Atumwa. So, they'll decline it, and that will let the punt return stand. So, Morrison gets a 71-yard punt return. That's their first punt return of the season. I know Smith had that uh, had a kickoff return of 97 yards. And there's extra point is good. 33 nothing. We'll take a break and be back with more after this on CISN.tv. You should just not return it and hope it rolls in the end zone. Damn. Here at Waukee, 4.02 to play. And the Warriors will kick again. They've been kicking it short down to about the 20, and it's been a hard one to handle here. I figured with the wind, they might try to kick it deep and just get the touch back, but the strategy's worked, Joe, because Atumba's been able, unable to handle the ball. They had a lot of trouble so far fielding the kick. And they haven't put one into the end zone yet so far. This one is short again. Cole comes up. He'll take it at the 25, 26, 30. 35 breaks outside and is pulled down. Just when it looked like he might have a seam over there, he gets tackled by Cole Spikesma. But looked like he had a lane up the sideline a couple more steps, Joe. Yep, he had – at least he had some space, and they're starting here at the 36.
First and 10 at the 36. With 3.57 to play still in the first quarter. There's the handoff, and he's just swarmed under. And he barely got that ball handed off. Mitch Wood, yeah. And then a Tumwa offensive line have a little trouble opening up some holes there. Two backs again. Dennison turns, gives it off, and uh, the ball, is it out? It may be out. It is out. It's another fumble. Waukee ball. So is that four fumbled so far? Or? Yeah, somewhere around there. Fumble, fumble. Yeah, strip. Fu- yeah. That's four. First and 10 at the 32 for Mitch Randall. Gives it off Lindquist. Lindquist turns it up, cuts it back. 10, 5, touchdown. And Kate Jaden out for the extra point attempt. And it's good. But there's a flag down. Procedure on Waukee, so I'll move it back five and make it a 25-yard extra point for Jaden. There's the snap and the kick. This time is good. 40 to nothing here in the first quarter. 3.05 to play. Again, Waukee will kick it off. Kate Jaden sets it up at the 40. back and he tried to let it bounce into the end zone Delhoy now he takes it outside and gets a few yards but they just couldn't get a break either way could they <laughs> now been that's really been the issue for them is fielding these kicks yeah and they haven't been deep ones they've just been dropping it in there and Four fumbles by a tum one. They'll start over here. First and ten at the fort 
14 with 2.59 to play in the first quarter. And this time they try to take it outside and knock down. Loss of three, second and 13. Tumba just hoping to get out of this first quarter. And right up the middle. And they got a little, got a little push on the pile that time. But there's just not a lot of room in there, is there? Nope, not enough time to set up the misdirection and then not enough room up, up the middle. Well, third down and long here. Let's see if they go to a pass play again. They tried a couple. Hands it off, and he's going to be met and just bent back over. Gage Cole on the carry. And we'll lose two. Morrison comes back. Last time he... Turned one for a touchdown already. He's back at about the 50. And now they got time running out on the play clock, so they call a timeout. Let's take a break. We'll do that. Be back after this on CISN.TV. Why do I look for the seal? It's about trust. Whether I'm buying a car, hiring a contractor, finding a tax preparer, or an honest mechanic, the Better Business Bureau seal means this business meets high standards. When I see the seal, I know I'll get what I pay for. No more taking chances and no more worries. And I feel good about supporting local businesses. My life is so much easier knowing I can always trust BBB accredited businesses. It pays to look for the seal. See for yourself at bbb.org backslash. We might not always know what the day will bring, but some things are certain. The sun will rise and your lights will go on. That's because at MidAmerican Energy, we're obsessively, relentlessly committed to providing you energy when and where you need it. To connecting with Tell you. punt formation after taking the timeout. 103 to play here in the first quarter. They trail 40 to nothing and are punting out of their own end zone. Gets off another good punt. Morrison takes it back at the 49. Up to the 40, 35-30, cuts it down the seam, winds his way through, touchdown. touchdown. Joe Morrison with his second punt return, this one 51 yards. And... Okay, Jaden out for the extra point. Well, say what you want. Jesus Jamie is a pretty darn good punter, Joe. He came in at averaging 37 with a long at 53. That one he booted. That was 50 in the air. 50 in the air. And... Uh, Unfortunately, he's getting a lot of practice. And 47 to nothing here is the score with 45.8 seconds to play here in the first quarter. And so, 
Kate Jaden will kick off for the eighth time. <laughs> In the first quarter. In the first quarter. They deferred and kicked it off to start. And then seven scores. Dominic Delhoy back there and Cole back there, deep to receive for Tumwa. This one's a squibber and handled and falls down on it at the 24. Dowling over Sioux City East, 14 to seven in the battle of unbeatens in district play there. So. I think it also had Roosevelt was down 14-0 to Marshalltown in the second quarter. Well, that's a battle there for District 2. A couple top teams in the district. There's a handoff looking for room. Spins Gage Cole. And he'll won't get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, I guess Marshalltown one and one, Roosevelt two and zero oh in that district, Centennial two and zero. Oh. So that would be a big win for Marshalltown to stay in district contention there. And that's going to run it over. What's turned into a long, long first quarter for Atumwa is over. It's forty-seven nothing. We'll take a break. And come back after this on CISN.TV. Hi, Ron here, head coach of Westside Auto Pros. When your car is on the injured reserve, you want to get it back in the game as soon as possible. I know that. That's why you need to bring it here to Westside Auto Pros. I have a team of experts that can fix almost every automotive injury. Whether it's a fractured joint, a brake, or if your car just got its bell rung, no problem. We can even do a complete physical on your car to make sure it's game ready for the entire season. So bring your car to Westside Auto Pros and we'll get it back in the starting lineup in no time. Hey, you guys are dogging it back here. Let's move it, move it, move it. Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Save thousands in Waukee. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. 2019 Silverado 1500 double cab up to 25% off. 2019 Here at Waukee, Darnie Danielson, Joe Danielson will go to the second quarter. And Avalanche is scoring by Waukee. And a tumble will take over first and 10 at the 23. And just what it looked like he found some room there. Mitch Wood, he gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. He picked up a yard, and he'll bring up third down and 10. Got the wind a little more to their back. We'll see if they pass it all, but the, those tight formations, it seems like they're a running team here anyway. There's a little action, now flips it out and up to the 31 yard line. Mitch Wood. So that time a little misdirection. They got the pass out, Joe, but still they're gonna come up short on fourth down. Up and gonna punt again here. You think? Yeah, Jesus Jamie comes out. He's been there. One bright spot is he's been booming that ball. And man, he rips that one. Morrison lets it go over his head. It's going to bounce. And that'll go down to the 19. Well, that's a 51 yard punt. <laughs> he's been kicking it just about just, 50 yards every time. Yeah. 
51 yarder again. So, well, they're going to put it at the 20, so it'll be a 50 yarder. First and 10 at the 20 for Waukee. Mitch Randall hands it off. Driving up the middle, Lindquist. Picks up seven. Gives it off to Lindquist this time over the right side. Lindquist cuts it up, breaks it through, and runs over a tackler. Keeps going. 25 20, and is finally shoved out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Strong running there. You see five or five white jerseys and a, a gray just appear out of the end there. Will be first and ten at the twelve. A sixty-one yard run by Lindquist. It's two receivers to the left. And off to Lindquist again. And this time they pull him down after pickup of three. Martinez in on the tackle. Randall splits two to the left again. Low snap. Hands it off to Lindquist. Looking to room to cut it outside. And he's in for the touchdown. Nine fifty three to play. And it's fifty three. Nothing. Extra point good. That makes the score. Walking fifty four a couple of zero. Hey fans. Fifty four nothing. And they got the smile cam up on the video board. There's a lot to smile about tonight for Waukee, Joe. They've just really blown it open here. And Waukee will kick off once again. Kate Jaden. McKinnon and Delhoy back deep for a Tumwa. And this one taken at the nine. Delhoy gets it up to the 20 and he's pulled down. First and 10 at the 20 for a Tumwa. If yet to get a first down. Well, they've been running, running it almost every play here. This time, twin backs back there. 
Looking to pass, throws it out and incomplete. Looking for Colton McKinnon out there. And like you mentioned, their, you know, their misdirection and everything, Waukee just has not had to worry about it because they're just kind of pushing right through the offensive line here at this point. Yeah, Deniston's almost not had time to hand it off at times. And we've seen a lot of that. There's Kai Glosser, and he just, they cannot get around the corner at all. 9.30 to play, clock running here in the first half. 54-0, Waukee. Well, Hawkeye's going to bounce back against Penn State tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> Iowa State on the road at West Virginia. They're favored in that one. So, yeah, And off, shugs the tackle. Can he get turned again? And no. And just, you see that lateral speed there. Of Waukee. And to be fourth down again. Well, it looks like we've got Waukee's backup quarterback setting to warm up down there. And it bounces away from Morrison. And that's going to roll down to the 32. Another. That would be a 52-yard uh, punt. So he's been consistently. Right. That one was more roll, but he's been he's been putting it in the air about 50 yards too, hasn't he? Yep. And looks like we'll have the substitution in. Or is that? Yep, that's Jacob Holcomb. Coming in for Waukee at quarterback. Oh, a fumble on the and recovered by uh, the Bulldogs. On it. Yep, they're on it. The Bulldogs get it. So we see a little switch up there offensively for Waukee. And their first play, they're. have issues so Atumwa first and 10 at the 27 of Waukee let's see if they can do anything with it here dropping back looking throwing to the corner Kai is it touchdown Atumwa and he's, that was a beautiful throw. Yeah. I mean, with a throw like that, you got to wonder why he hasn't been throwing it at all so far. And that was uh, Blaze Rominger. Yep, and he... It was, but I think the kick's blocked. Blocked on the kick, so it's 54 to 6. Let's take a break. We'll be back with a kickoff after this on CISN.TV. You don't have to go to Hy-Vee Market Grill to get Hy-Vee Market Grill. Now get Hy-Vee Market Grill delivered. Choose from the best burgers in town, delicious steaks, seafood, appetizers. There's nothing mini about the hy -Vee Market Grill menu, and it's all delivered to your door. Save time and save the day, or at least dinner. Just order on the hy -Vee Market Grill app. hy -Vee Market Grill, we deliver delicious. Here at Waukee, Atumwa gets on the scoreboard, 54-6. Jolie, talk about points off turnovers for both teams. <laughs> Waukee comes after a fumble, after several fumbles. Atumwa's only point so far come after a fumble. So. Yeah, and there's a beautiful pass to the corner of the end zone there. Oh, there's a boot. 
Uh, Jamie and taking at the one. Up across has some room, 25. That's uh, Smith. And then uh, Jamie finished off the tackle there yeah. also for the kicker. Of course, he's not. He's going to stay in and play defense as well as kicking and punting, so he's not your typical kicker. You can see he's a bigger guy out there on the line. He's a junior. First and ten Warriors from the one to 29. And there's a handoff. And cutting it up and... It was um, Xavier Moore. Xavier Moore. Hand off to Moore again. This time he's pulled down from behind by Kai Glosser. He's second and 15 here, coming up on eight minutes to play in the first half. 54-6, Waukee. And there's a flag as Tumwa jumps. Holcomb in there at quarterback. Waukee, that'll move it up. Second and 10 at the 48. Handoff and pulled down. Xavier Moore. Xavier Moore. Nice stop there from Zachary Ross for the Bulldogs. Off again, they list uh, Jesus Jamie at 6'2", 260. He's a big kicker. He's a. We see a lot of the kicker. power there coming. But that's from uh, back in the dark ages when I was in high school, and you kick straight on. You you had your biggest guy, and he went in and booted <laughs> it for the kickoff. But he does a great job punting. So they'll send um, is that Delhoy back deep. And the first punt for Waukee here tonight. And a good high kick. Calls for the fair catch. And bobbles it, but comes in at the 17. Well, Tom was looking to come back here with another nice drive. They had the one play touchdown. Let's see if they throw the ball around here a little bit more. And um, well, Denniston hadn't really thrown it that much coming in. There's a reverse action. He comes back through. Pick up a couple. Kai Glosser. And Ben Halber on the tackle. Second and eight. Rolling. And threw it over the head of Mitch Wood. Third and eight. We'll see if they look Pass to go again deep or? again. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't see why not here. Here, that or just you know get it out there for the first down. Now they 
Switch. Wing back the other side, rolling to his right. Looking, it looked like he was looking back the other way, but he gets tackled before he gets. Looked like he was trying to come with his motion to the right and then throw back to the left, but he got hammered. Jesus Jamie on his own goal line gets it. Booms it. This one, a short, flat one. Morrison picks it up and he just slipped and it. fell. Nothing, yeah. nothing bad there. No. Mitch Wood slipped, fell into him. Morrison downs it at the 46. And. Holka back out there, quarterback. We got Xavier Moore in the backfield. Hand it off to him, and he's pulled down. Under five minutes to play, first half. Holcomb rolling out. He'll keep it. And gets pulled down right at just short of the 50-yard line. We'll bring up third down and about six for Waukee. Another third and six. At about four minutes. Remaining and the offsides for the Bulldogs. God, those are especially there. You got to make it from a third and six to a third and one. You know. Yep, and they haven't gotten a lot of pressure today, anyways. And they come in, Reese Cooper, the up back, Xavier Moore in there with Holcomb. Give it off to Morey. He gets pulled down from behind, and he don't. I don't think he got the first down. He'll be just short of the first down marker. They're going to line up quick and try to go for it. Before Tumma gets ready, and they push ahead through the middle, and Holcomb almost broke free. Quarterback sneak for 12 yards. That's happened sometimes, though. You get that sneak and you bust through that line. First and 10 at the 31. And off to Xavier Moore. He's looking to turn outside. Stiff arm cuts it back up to the 20, 15. And pulled down at the about the 10. So it'll be first and goal at the 10 for Waukee. Leading here with 324 to play. And right up the middle, touchdown is Holcomb. It's about a 10-yard touchdown run for him. With 319 to go in the first half. Makes it 60 to six. That's his second. Or is that Jacob Holcomb? Yep. Yep, his second rushing touchdown. Of the season. And the kick is good. Sixty-one to six. So, Atuma, Indianola, and Johnston 
it's Indianola and Johnson the last two games here in the district. This holds true, and Waukee will be 3-0 in the district. Indianola and Johnson are meeting tonight. Both those teams are 2-0 in the district. So we could have a matchup of two undefeated district teams coming in. We'll see. Yeah, I'm looking for an update, but nothing yet so far from score Indianola and Johnston. So if, if Indianola wins, they'd come in here, and both teams would be 3-0 and next week. And if Johnston wins, then you set up the potential for a meeting with Johnston for the district title at Johnston. Yeah, but it seems like that's fallen into place. We, we did need an update from the Johnson-Indianola game. I thought they were tied in the second quarter, but... Oh, there's one <laughs> hit right at the tumble player, and that time he went down. Uh, well, he was getting ready to go back into coverage. It was Bishop, yeah, and then he... Bishop. As he's turning, the ball hits him in the hands. Not much he could do about it. And so, Atumwa. We'll see if they can do something here before the end of the half. Here we go. And rolls up to the 50. We got Centennial over Fort Dodge, 42 14 at half. Southeast Polk, 62. Sioux City West, 0. Ankeny 35, Lincoln 0. Johnston versus Indianola, tied 0 at half. Oh, so there's wow. an interesting uh, development yeah. there. Yeah, it's going to could set up for a big matchup next week. Yeah, and we see Marshalltown up 21-0 over Roosevelt at half as well. Wow. And Roosevelt's got that 10th ranking. Yeah, Marshalltown, though, was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Marshalltown was right in there in the district standings, too. Let's see, where are we at here? Oh, that's right. Marshalltown 1-1. One and one. Roosevelt was 2-0 and oh behind Centennial at 2-0 and oh in the district. So that would be a big win for Marshalltown. Hand off inside. Cuts it back. Mitch Wood. And he'll flop ahead for half a yard. And... Coming up on two minutes of play in the first half. To look to the sideline to get the play. That's one thing I haven't noticed is Atumwa isn't sending guys in with the play from the coach. It's all well, look to the side, the side and line. signals. Yep. Waukee does that. Here's a handoff. Spinning up is Wood. And he fumbled and again. And fumbled. He's going to say they've go got back it. to Waukee. So I don't know if there's a team record for fumbles recovered in a game, but they're That's what, five sitting on six. five in the first five? half, I yeah. believe. Yep. And Holcomb. Keeps it. <laughs> All of a sudden, he scored. Now he's keeping that ball in the read option, isn't he? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, you know he's <laughs> he's gonna have a lot of playing time here. Yeah, but I can't blame him. No, I wouldn't either. If I were, yeah, I'd he's do the same taking thing. Taking it every time. <laughs> and then Moore. Now Moore gets it that time, and Moore cuts it outside. Thirty-five. He's got a block and is run down from behind. <laughs> One fifteen to play, first half. That's similar on defense for Atumwa too. Also, is they get their plays from a from a signal. Yep. There's a handoff. Moore trying to turn it outside again. Gets a block, and he's just bumped out of bounds. 
a nice hustle play there from Joshua Johnson, the cornerback over yeah. there, not giving up on the play. No, just got enough into him to bump, bump him out of bounds. And he had to fight off a block there too, didn't he? So first and goal to two with 58.7 seconds to go. They give it to Moore, and this time he'll go in from two yards out. And the extra point is good. Let's take a break. We'll be back with a kickoff after this on CISN.TV. Save thousands in Waukee. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. 2019 Silverado 1500 double cab up to 25% off. 2019 Silverado 1500 crew cab LT or RST up to 20% off MSRP or up to $5,000 off plus 0% for 72 months. We're in a position to give you more for your trade in Waukee. 2019 Colorado up to $7,000 off or $5,000 off plus 1.9% for 60 months or 2.9% for 72 months. These won't last. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. WaukeeChevy.com. Here at Waukee, the Warriors scored again 68 to 6 here with 53 seconds to go in the first half. And they will kick it off to Atumwa. Yes. Kate Jaden tees it up again. And a squibber taken by Wood, and he'll down it. Short kick is fielded by number 30, Mitchell Wood. And the tumble will take over. First down, Bulldogs. And <laughs> Deniston coming in. And a fumble, Waukee recovers it. Yeah, make six fumbles now. By Waukee, recovered by Waukee. Here is where right the kneel might be more appropriate. Now Holcomb comes back in at quarterback. Jacob Holcomb, the junior. Yeah, I think they'll do that. Yeah, yeah I, I think they're going to go tight formation with 46.4 to play. And just kneel down. We'll have a running clock to start the second half. And the officials are going to take their time setting this up. The play clock's got more time on it left in the game. This yeah, because they waited to spot it and start the play clock so that it would run out and that would be the last play. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, that'll be the last play of the half here as it winds down. And the teams are going to head to the locker room as we wind down to zero on the halftime clock. 68-6, to six, Waukee. We'll take a break. We'll come back at halftime with halftime after this on CISN.TV. 
Schottenkirk Ford Indianola's kickoff event. This month only, take $16,000 off MSRP on every brand new 2019 Ford F-150 Crew Cab XLT 4x4 in stock. Plus, first responders receive an additional $1,000 bonus cash on new 2019 F-150 Super Duty, Expedition, and Ranger. New 2019 Fusion and Escape starting at just $18,999. Ford fans drive to Indianola to buy Fords. A kickoff event. Schottenkirk Ford Indianola. SchottenkirkFord.com. Every month or so, there's another story in the media about when and how often we need to get our mammograms. It's kind of confusing. When this happens, I like to consult with experts. So I called Iowa Radiology. They recommend women get an annual mammogram starting at age 40. They know that it's the best way to detect cancers early and save lives. And that's good enough for me. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule your mammogram. Iowa Radiology, our focus is your good health. You don't have to go to Hy-Vee Market Grill to get Hy-Vee Market Grill. Now get Hy-Vee Market Grill delivered. Choose from the best burgers in town, delicious steaks, seafood, appetizers. There's nothing many about the Hy-Vee Market Grill menu, and it's all delivered to your door. Save time and save the day, or at least dinner. Just order on the Hy-Vee Market Grill app. Hy-Vee Market Grill. We deliver. De Hi, Ron here, head coach of Westside Auto Pros. When your car's on the injured reserve, you want to get it back in the game as soon as possible. I know that. That's why you need to bring it here to Westside Auto Pros. I have a team of experts that can fix almost every automotive injury, whether it's a fractured joint, a brake, or if your car just got its bell rung, no problem. We can even do a complete physical on your car to make sure it's game ready for the entire season. So bring your car to Westside Auto Pros and we'll get it back in the starting lineup in no time. Hey, you guys are dogging it back. You want to get stronger faster healthier you want more you want to be part of something bigger than yourself a place for people of all ages all walks of life that provides opportunities for all to succeed we do that we're the why build more than muscle build a stronger community Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Save thousands in Waukee. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. 2019 Silverado 1500 Double Cab up to 25% off. 2019 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT or RST up to 20% off MSRP or up to $5,000 off plus 0% for 72 months. We're in a position to give you more for your trade in Waukee. 2019 Colorado up to $7,000 off or $5,000 off plus 1.9% for 60 months or 2.9% for 72 months. These won't last. Schottenkirk Chevy Waukee. Waukee Chevy. Doc. We might not always know what the day will bring, but some things are certain. The sun will rise and your lights will go on. That's because at MidAmerican Energy, we're obsessively, relentlessly committed to providing you energy when and where you need it, to connecting with you and keeping our communities safe and strong. Because the most important thing we put our energy into is you. We're obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Here at Waukee, it's halftime. Waukee up 68-6. to six. Star Danielson, Joe Danielson with you. and Well, Joe, things started out looking not too bad for Tumwa there in the first quarter. They get the ball after a punt, and they had it first down at the 50-yard line. The first play, they fumble it. And then the very next play, Waukee goes 56 yards, Aaron Smith for a touchdown run, and then the just... Everything collapsed on Atoma right there. Yep, and the floodgates kind of opened. We saw Waukee score three times in about 40 seconds span. As you see, Mitch Randall kind of wreaked havoc on that defense in the first yeah, quarter. Then, yep, then Mitch Randall got a 13-yard run. The extra point was no good. Then it was a fumble recovery. And uh, then Mitch Randall scored a 24-yard run. Then Morrison returned to punt 71 yards. 
Lindquist a 32-yard run. Morrison returned to punt 51 yards. Lindquist a nine-yard run. Then Atumwa finally had a nice pass there to Romink after uh, they got a fumble from Waukee. Waukee put in a, some new players there, and they fumbled it on the first play. And uh, Atumwa goes 27 yards on the pass play, and they missed the extra point, made it 54-6. Then Holcomb with a 10-yard run. Xavier Moore with a 3-yard run. And that's where we stand at halftime, 68-6. to six. So the starters have been out of the game for a little bit here, Joe. And then we were talking about it. You got that Indianola um, game going on. Is it Indianola-Johnston, right? Yeah. Yep, they were tied and at tight They're tied, zero. and that's going to be, you know, a tight ball game. That team, one of those teams could come in here, you know, battling for the first in the district. And, and you've kind of had a second half here where you kind of sat out a little bit. So, you know, I don't know if that's good or bad. Coming yeah, into both that Indianola them. and Johnston, regardless who wins, it'll still be a tough game coming yeah. in those last two weeks for Waukee. So anything could still happen, especially if they win here tonight and then we're to lose to Indianola. Yeah, so that's – it could still shake things up, and then if if uh, if Johnston beats Indianola tonight, and then uh, Waukee beats Indianola here next week, then you could set it up again. Waukee at Johnston for the district title. Yep. You know, and then um, let's see. Well, one thing for uh, Johnston and Indianola, their RPIs right now are just above Waukee's. They're at 17, Waukee's at 20, so. That makes it kind of interesting for the whichever team there is, you know, takes a loss in that in the RPI and getting into the playoffs too. So yep, it's a it's a triangle here so far yeah. of outcomes. Yeah, it could what? be. Uh, who knows? It could be all crunching some numbers for the team that doesn't win and win the district there. Yep, and they because they could all finish with the same record. Yeah, and then and, it'd uh, be a tiebreaker. It could be. Yeah, it could be interesting. You, and that tiebreaker, you go, how is it? You go ahead, to, you, I don't know. I don't want to look that far ahead. But anyway, so uh, there's some interesting football ahead in the final two games of the district here. Sounds like we'll try to see if we can get an update on that uh, Johnson Indianola score sometime. But uh, for a tub, which things just, you know, and then they couldn't handle that. Six fumbles recovered by Waukee in the first half. And, uh, you know, you just, Again, we saw they had a little potential there, a great pass when they when they got a little time, but just a little too overwhelming here by uh, Waukee. Yeah, there's not enough time to run their misdirections on offense, and they've also the ball control issue, and that's just not good when you can hand the ball right back to Waukee and they're scoring in one play. And then it, it hasn't come into play a lot, but um, there's a lot of uh, – a lot of Atumwa players are playing both ways, as you see the marching band out here right now. So, um, you know, you'd think in a grind-it-down game that might uh, come back to hurt Atumwa, but so far, Waukee has scored so much that it's not a big deal. Yeah, and one thing with Atumwa trying to focus on rushing the ball so much, it's really hasn't worked out for him with the, the fumbling. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, it, you got to think they're going to try to go to the air a little bit here in the second half. And the star of the game has been Jesus Jamie for Otumwa, but when your punter is the star of the game, that's that's a problem. It's just like when your safety is your leading tackler, then you know you got some big issues because he's the last line of defense. Yep, and, and he's he, out there playing left uh, <laughs> left end, I believe, also. Yeah, he's also him. playing defense, and he's kicking off and doing a pretty good job. But uh, you just need a, you know, a few more guys of his size, 6'2", 260 in the line and blocking a little bit, you know, but uh, that's just the way it goes here. It's quite a, uh, quite a show been put on right here by the Waukee band here at halftime. And let's do this. Let's take another break. We'll do that, and we'll come back with more at halftime after this on CISN.TV.
Central Bank is proud to support the unmatched spirit of sportsmanship and hard work exemplified by our local athletes. We're fans of high school sports and the way the big game and hometown team rally a community. Best of luck to all of today's competitors. Play hard, have fun, and make something great happen. Central Bank, member FDIC. Moms typically get to make a majority of the healthcare decisions for their family. That can be a lot of pressure, but not for me, because I know the choice is ours. From medical tests like MRIs, x-rays, CAT scans, and of course mammograms, ask your doctor to refer you to Iowa Radiology. They work around our hectic schedules, they're the best at what they do, and they're so great with my family. They truly care, and it shows. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule an appointment. Iowa Radiology. High quality beef doesn't have to come with a high price. High V Angus Reserve. It's 100% natural, hand selected, pure quality beef. The cuts are tender and the price is lean. We choose our beef knowing what will deliver the best flavor and most tenderness. So now, going out for a great steak can be as simple as going out to your grill. High V Angus Reserve. Dinner out just became dinner in. Why do I look for the seal? It's about trust. Whether I'm buying a car, hiring a contractor, finding a tax preparer, or an honest mechanic, the Better Business Bureau seal means this business meets high standards. When I see the seal, I know I'll get what I pay for. No more taking chances and no more worries. And I feel good about supporting local businesses. My life is so much easier knowing I can always trust BBB accredited businesses. It pays to look for the seal. See for yourself at BBB.org backslash. Schottenkirk Ford Indianola's kickoff event. This month only. Take $16,000 off MSRP on every brand new 2019 Ford F-150 Crew Cab XLT 4x4 in stock. Plus, first responders receive an additional $1,000 bonus cash on new 2019 F-150 Super Duty, Expedition, and Ranger. New 2019 Fusion and Escape starting at just $18,999. Ford fans drive to Indianola to by Ford. It's a kickoff event. Schottenkirk Ford, Indianola. SchottenkirkFord.com. Every month or so, there's another story in the media about when and how often we need to get our mammograms. It's kind of confusing. When this happens, I like to consult with experts. So I called Iowa Radiology. They recommend women get an annual mammogram starting at age 40. They know that it's the best way to detect cancers early and save lives. And that's good enough for me. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule your mammogram. Iowa Radiology, our focus is your good health. You don't have to go to Hy-Vee Market Grill to get Hy-Vee Market Grill. Now get Hy-Vee Market Grill delivered. Choose from the best burgers in town, delicious steaks, seafood, appetizers. There's nothing many about the Hy-Vee Market Grill menu and it's all delivered to your door. Save time and save the day, or at least dinner. Just order on the hy V Market Grill app. hy V Market Grill. We Hi, Ron here, head coach of Westside Auto Pros. When your car's on the injured reserve, you want to get it back in the game as soon as possible. I know that. That's why you need to bring it here to Westside Auto Pros. I have a team of experts that can fix almost every automotive injury, whether it's a fractured joint, a brake, or if your car just got its bell rung, no problem. We can even do a complete physical on your car to make sure it's game ready for the entire season. So bring your car to Westside Auto Pros and we'll get it back in the starting lineup in no time. Hey, you guys are dogging it back here. Let's move it, move it, move it. You want to get stronger, faster, healthier. You want more. You want to be part of something bigger than yourself. A place for people of all ages, all walks of life, that provides opportunities for all to succeed. We do that. We're the why. Build more than muscle. Build a stronger community. At Waukee, it's halftime. The band going through their performance here. Dart Danielson, Joe Danielson. And quite a performance going on there, Joe. There's a lot going on out there. We got rifles and boomerangs and flags and <laughs> a little bit of everything. And trying to keep warm as it's. Uh, Wind chill was about 26 when we started out. Doesn't look like the winds have eased up at all here. 
And uh, it is 68 to 6, Waukee at halftime. As the band going through their halftime show here. Waukee scored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. It was 47-0 in the first quarter. And then uh, Atumwa did get on the board once after a fumble and missed the extra point. And they will come out. Waukee deferred, so Waukee will get the ball to start the second half. And I guess if you're Waukee, you just keep coming out. And well, uh, you know, the Bulldog defense has done well when they've been given a good starting position, but yeah. against the Waukee second team so far, they've done a nice job on defense. However, when they start them at the 20 yard line, it just yeah, it makes it almost impossible. Well, it doesn't matter any defense when you're, you yeah. know, you get that good field position. It's not, it's hard to shut that offense off. But you're right, when they've had them in a decent spot, they've been able to shut off the. That second team here, so we'll see what they do in the second half. And the clock will be continuously going here in the second half. And fans who waited to see the band now probably going to run and get some hot chalk. Because <laughs> up here we're, we're shaded a little bit from the wind, so it's not too bad. And we do have a heater up here in the, in the uh, press box, but... Uh, yeah, you can see the home crowd has thinned off considerably here. Yeah, probably going to get some concessions there. and But a lot of blankets, and the, the first time we've seen the Parkers with the hoods on them here, and it's been a pretty good fall so far. This is the coolest night we've had. And uh, I guess up north they're talking a few snow flurries, nothing that's going to stick around, but uh, could see some of that here this weekend for... the weather situation and uh, last we saw that score that Johnston Indianola it was still it was 0-0 at half there's still halftime there so we'll try to see if we can pick up on that as we go through because it'll be uh, Indianola here next week we'll have that ball game here on CISN.TV and then Waukee finishes at Johnston and again we've been talking about it potentially a Game for the district title in the automatic playoff bid there. And um, oh, where's my sheet here again for um, you look at it, Johnston at four and two and Indianola both at four and two, and their RPI a little bit higher than Waukee, so Waukee's probably the team that could least afford to take a loss in that whole situation, you know. I mean, their RPI, though, is still not too bad because the teams they lost to have got pretty good records. So, And that's all figured into your RPI, too. So it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. Let's do this. Let's take another one final break here at half, and then we'll be back and be about ready to start the second half after this on CISN.TV. Central Bank is proud to support the unmatched spirit of sportsmanship and hard work exemplified by our local athletes. We're fans of high school sports and the way the big game and hometown team rally a community. Best of luck to all of today's competitors. Play hard, have fun, and make something great happen. Central Bank, member FDIC. Moms typically get to make a majority of the healthcare decisions for their family. That can be a lot of pressure, but not for me, because I know the choice is ours. For medical tests like MRIs, x-rays, CAT scans, and of course mammograms, ask your doctor to refer you to Iowa Radiology. They work around our hectic schedules, they're the best at what they do, and they're so great with my family. They truly care, and it shows. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule an appointment. Iowa Radiology. High quality beef doesn't have to come with a high price. High V Angus Reserve. It's 100% natural, hand selected, pure quality beef. The cuts are tender and the price is lean. We choose our beef knowing what will deliver the best flavor and most tenderness. 
So now, going out for a great steak can be as simple as going out to your grill. High V Angus Reserve. Dinner out just became dinner in. Here, in Waukee, you see the Warriors there warming up. Coming out of the halftime break. And I got a feeling, Joe, we might not see much of the starters if we see them at all here in the second half with the 68-6 lead. The clock will be continuous clock here. Yep, I think we'll see quite a, bit, a lot of young guys getting in there. And that's good. That gives them a chance to uh, get a play in time. We've already seen uh, Jacob Holcomb in there at quarterback and Xavier Moore getting a little extra play in time here tonight for Waukee. As well, they put a little more time back on there to warm up. Start the second half as Atumwa comes out of the locker room. You see them there on the far side, top of your screen. And uh, you probably feel a lot warmer, too, when you're coming out and you're leading 68-6. to six. You don't feel so bad about coming back out into the cold, do you? No, nope, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's maybe that was the delay. It was the <laughs> getting that last bit of warmth back. They don't have, you know, I don't see very many totes or anything like that over there for the Bulldog. Well, there's a couple there. Yeah, on the sideline, but got to think the cheer team is not in any hurry to come back. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a little, uh, a little worse when you're sitting on the bench or not moving around as much out there. But uh, let me grab my uh, list here of the other games that are going on tonight. Ankeny's at Des Moines Lincoln. Dowling was on the road at Sioux City East. The last score we had, they were up 14 to seven, I think. That was two teams there in District One, or two and zero. Oh. Sioux City North is at Hoover. Fort Dodge at Centennial in District Two. Marshalltown at Roosevelt West. Sioux City West at Southeast Polk. Cedar Rapids Jefferson at Cedar Rapids Prairie. Dubuque Senior at Dubuque Kempstead. Waterloo West at Cedar Falls. And then in District 4, Davenport North at Iowa City West, Iowa City High at Pleasant Valley, Muscatine at Linmar. And we talked about uh, the other District 6 game is Mason City at Des Moines East tonight. And in District 7, Ames at Council Bluffs. Ames 2-0 in the district. Council Bluffs TJ. Council Bluffs Abe Lincoln is at Valley tonight. I haven't got a score on that. And Urbandale is at Des Moines North tonight in that District 7. And clock winding down here. And we get ready to get the second half started. Waukee will get the ball. They deferred to open the game. And then just ran off uh, seven straight scores there in the first quarter. After getting a fumble from Matumwa, things just, the wheels fell off. And here we go. See if they can bring a spark out here in the second half. They've scored almost every which way. Runs. They haven't had a passing touchdown, though, have they? They've all been on the ground and then fumble returns and two punt returns. I don't think they've attempted very many passes. No, they haven't really. Six or seven total. About the only passes they've tried were on the two-point conversions, really, because they really haven't had to, I guess, so. Jesus Jamie sets it up for a tumwa to kick it off to start the second half. And Mm -hmm. 
Here we go with Tumlin in the white and red. And <laughs> they do the run up and the ball falls off. <clears throat> See if it'll stay. I'm going to have to have somebody hold it on the tee maybe. The wind's still gusting down there pretty good. So he will have somebody hold it for him. And just booms it through the end zone for the touchback. Boy, that one was only about 15 yards off the ground, too. <laughs> he lined it right through the air. Line drive. And Waukee will take over first and 10 at the 20. Here to start the second half. And that's Holcomb. Holcomb keeping it. 40, 45. One man to beat, and he can't get by him. Good to open field tackle out there by uh, Joshua Johnson. This particular setup on the uniforms is hard to read those numbers for uh, Waukee with that kind of purple on the black. It's hard when he's carrying the ball. Yeah. Holcomb again, low snap, hands it off to Hembry. I think it was. Yep. Andrew Hembry, the junior running back, takes it. And he's just Jamie in on a tackle that time. Guy does everything. Well, yeah, he <laughs> doesn't have much of a choice. He's kind of playing a little bit of that nose guard there, looks like. And there's a handoff. Hembry looking for room. Slips a tackle. Well, that's not Hembry. That is all the way down inside the 10. Jack Ibis on the carry. We're getting a lot of different players in. Yeah, we'll try to keep up on that yeah, for Waukee. Yeah. There's 99 players overall on the depth chart, and assuming just about all of them will get in. Hembry is in there. The quarterback is new, too. That's uh, Alex Walsh in at quarterback. Fumble on the snap. Let's see what. As Walsh was the quarterback. And it goes over to Otumwa. So that's <laughs> happened twice now for Waukee when they bring in the new quarterback. Yeah, the last time, though, it happened down on uh, the 20, and they were able to score. But here, they got a, a lot longer to go. They got, what, 92 yards, 93 yards, 92, first and 10 at the 8. Their own 8 for a Tumwa. Denniston hands it off up the middle. Wood on the carry. And he picks up five. Oh, there's a almost slips and fell down, but he got the pitch out to Kai Glosser. But Dennison. Kind of slipped as he came away from center, so brings up third down and four. Four. Atumwa. And handoff up the middle. That'll be a first down. See, that's what they were trying to do that whole first okay. half was yeah. that misdirection. You see it works right there Yeah. in theory. But the problem was that 
Well, and we've got a few different guys on that front defensive line. Well, that, that was the issue was <laughs> yeah. Lockheed's defensive line yeah. was in the backfield. In yeah, when you had Caleb seconds. Paulus, Carson Lappy, Connor Arndt, and Kel Thorson in there, there was no no gaps at all. Now here it is. Handoff back out, Kai Thorson, or Kai Glosser, rather, comes out. One other thing you'll find, too, in football, when it's cold, people will find the warm press box areas to go to. Oh, day. yeah. <laughs> We've seen that all all night here in the second half already. That's gotten a little more crowded up here. But Second and seven. Rolling, looking to throw. Throws it late and out of bounds. As we're looking for Colton McKinnon down there, but good coverage by Waukee. Joe White was one of them back there on the coverage. Let's see. We got Braden Senny is in there on the line for Waukee. I'll try to get some of the other ones if I can see their numbers here. Looks like Dane Denowden also in their defensive line. Snap looking to throw. Rolling, rolling. Now throws it over and away into the far side there. It'll bring up a fourth down. Yeah, there was just nobody downfield. He had all the time in the world, but there was yeah. nobody down there back for him. Joe Nygots also in there. Well, he's going to put this over the back. White back to receive, and this time he gets another good roll, bounces at the 45. That, that one had the hang time, too. Yeah. He's usually been just, I mean, you could, sell, you could see right there, the 45, he was going to put it over their head. That was only a 44-yarder, though. That's a, he's been averaging around 50 tonight. He had quite a bit of hang time on it. Yeah. So Waukee takes over first and 10, 546 and counting here in the third quarter. And let's see. What's that? Walsh again in there at quarterback. Hands it off. Hembry on the carry. Looks like Nick Weitzel is now in the backfield. With Walsh in there at quarterback. Five minutes to play, third quarter. And there's procedure call. I think there was a little confusion in what the play was coming from the sideline there. Yep, and we'll see that. <laughs> These guys are getting, some of them is over their first game, game time experience here. Hand off and tripped up. Jack Ibis, the senior running back. Brings up third and 19 at the 24. Hembry, the running back in there with Walsh, the quarterback. And fakes it, the fumble. Waukee or Atumwa gets on it, looks like. Yep, Atumwa gets on it at the 26. So it'll be the third fumble for Waukee, I believe, right? Yep, third. Nine overall. Nine in the game, yeah. Three, and uh, uh, Waukee's lost all theirs. Atumwa's lost six. So, and... For Waukee, it's mainly been when they've had new guys in there. So here's Denniston. 
They're going to come out of the shotgun, too, here. Yeah, and the gauge. Or the pistol. Gage Cole comes in late. Now Waukee's running somebody off late. They're going to throw to the corner. And is it? There's got to be a flag on that. He caught it. No flag. There's a flag. Is there on the far? Now they're saying it's incomplete. He didn't. I mean, it was a holding all day on that. Yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> I don't know what. Looking for Blaze Rominger, who caught their only other or a touchdown pass. Pass interference, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought they were going to flag him for 12 guys on the field, but. No, he had a, he had both arms completely around him down here in the corner. Yeah, I know, but, but there was a guy running off <laughs> before oh. that play even got started. But he maybe he got off the field. I was. Well, anyway, it brings up uh, a first down. Off penalty for Tumwa. Down to the uh, where are we at? The thirteen. First and ten at the thirteen for a Tumwa. You go back to the run here. Looks like they're going to under center. Hands it off, looking to turn it outside, cuts it back in, and spun around and hit down hard. Glosser, but credit that defensive line. They did a good job of slowing him down. He's got some nice size back there also. as a We've seen him kind of blocking. Second. And Goal to seven, fumble. Covered by Boy, the Tumwa. Really takes the snap very, very low. Yeah, he gets crouched his so way must, down, doesn't he? Uh, might, makes me think that might lead to an issue with getting the snap. Because if he's got to receive the, the snap and come up to hand it to the running back. There he is again. Third down, rolling, rolling. Rolling throws. Is it incom intercept? No, incomplete. Looked like it almost is going to be intercepted. Intended for Rominger. Fourth down. They'll go for it, obviously. Could bring Jesus Jamie in. Had, that, that's got to be within his field goal range. <laughs> oh, I bet <laughs> easily he's from fifty. Yeah. <laughs> might want to hand it to him. <laughs> I want to give yeah, him I the might want to put him. You're right. Put him in the backfield and let him go. Here they go. The shotgun. Rolling throws. Touchdown. Touchdown. That was a nice play. Yeah. Adam Dennison's pass complete to Kai Glosser, number four in the end zone. Glosser. Six yard pass. Extra point is no good. The kick is just wide left. That'll make the score Waukee 68. 68 to 12 with 106 to play here in the third quarter. Well, they didn't have Jamie take that kick. No. So he must not do their extra points. Let's take a break. I'll come back with a kickoff after this. Why do I look for the seal? It's about trust. Whether I'm buying a car, hiring a contractor, finding a tax preparer, or an honest mechanic, the Better Business Bureau seal means this business meets high standards. When I see the seal, I know I'll get what I pay for. No more taking chances and no more worries. And I feel good about supporting local businesses. My life is so much easier knowing I can always trust BBB accredited businesses. It pays to look for the seal. See for yourself at bbb.org backslash Iowa. Here at Waukee, Atumwa for the second time tonight has scored off a turnover, a fumble. 
And here's the kickoff, and that one is going to go out of bounds. Or no, did it stay in? It did stay in. I thought it was heading out, but it just... Is that the T all the way down there? Or is that... It is. It Boy, is. The T went further than the kick. Well, he because he undercut it, and it to see the way it squibbed off of there. He was trying to squib it, and it did. I thought it was going to hit out of bounds, but it didn't. And so they'll take over. I think and I'm they thinking even... they may not get a playoff here to end the third quarter. They're just going to wait. And as the clock is running here, we have a continuous clock. And they're just going to let it wind down as it hits uh, 20 seconds. Well, they did start the play clock now, so there's a little differential, so they'll have to snap it. There's about seven seconds difference there. Walsh takes it, hands it off. Ibis on the carry, and that will be the last play of the third quarter. We'll go to the fourth quarter, 68-12, Waukee. Back with the final quarter after this on CISN. Why do I look for the seal? It's about trust. Whether I'm buying a car, hiring a contractor, finding a tax preparer, or an honest mechanic, the Better Business Bureau seal means this business meets high standards. When I see the seal, I know I'll get what I pay for. No more taking chances and no more worries. And I feel good about supporting local businesses. My life is so much easier knowing I can always trust BBB accredited businesses. It pays to look for the seal. See for yourself at bbb.org backslash Iowa. Every month or so, there's another story in the media about when and how often we need to get our mammograms. It's kind of confusing. When this happens, I like to consult with experts. So I called Iowa Radiology. They recommend women get an annual mammogram starting at age 40. They know that it's the best way to detect cancers early and save lives and that's good enough for me. Visit iowaradiology.com or call to schedule your mammogram. Iowa Radiology, our focus is your... You don't have to go to hy Market Grill to get hy Market Grill. Now get hy Market Grill delivered. Choose from the best burgers in town, delicious steaks, seafood, appetizers. There's nothing many about We the will start the fourth quarter. Waukee with the ball, up 68-12. And Hembry on the carry for the Warriors. Bring up a third and short, third and uh, four. For Waukee. And a tumble won the third quarter, Joe. Yep, you said it, 6-0. <laughs> there. Coming in and a uh, couple turnovers they've scored on. And there's a handoff. That's going to be a first down. Ibis gets it up to the 49. And we'll see if we can pick up a little bit later here the Johnston Indianola score. Yes, got to get some players on here for Alex Walsh, who's the quarterback. Looks like Victor Gigarazina is in there. Receiver spot. They hand it off, and Hembry gets a few before he's stacked up. Clock continues to roll. 10 14 and counting here. Nolan Day in there also. Looks like Marcus Curtis. Bring that slot in motion. Looking to cut it outside. Now cuts it up 40. Ibis to the 30. Scooches ahead to the 29. 
or 20, yeah, 29 yard line. Uh, looking for an update on those games, but nothing is being reported at the moment. Okay. Winded down to nine minutes to play here. Walsh, the quarterback. Hands it off. Hembry. The running back. Junior. Zachary Ross on the stop. And off to Ibis, spins inside the 15. Now they're going to mark him right at the 15. Taking their sweet time to get the uh, play in here in this fourth quarter. But, of course, it's a communication, new communication Asian. all on the lines there. Yep. Walsh, the quarterback, hands it off to Hembry. He cuts it back up in the middle and is spun over. Inside the 10 to the 9. Walsh again, the quarterback. Hands it off, and there's a flag down, and there might be he a holding. Doesn't get your, he doesn't go down. Oh, he stayed up. He does. But there's a flag down there. We'll see. See if that comes back, though. Yep, holding. On Waukee. Makes sense there as to how he was able to get yeah. out of that. <laughs> So they'll go from second and nine back to uh, second and 19 or so, I think. Well, and Hembry comes back in at the running back spot. For Waukee. Jacob Martin, one of the linemen in there. And off to Hembry. He gets racked up after a pickup of about six. Max Kern and Caden Caps. In there on the line. Let's see who else we got. Hunter Philpott. Hand off. Ibis. She'll bring up a fourth down. I'm going to go ahead and go. Yep. Oh, <laughs> they draw a tumble off. <clears throat> and that stops the clock at 546 to play. Uh, that's just, that makes sense. But yeah, it's you're the fourth quarter with five minutes left. The other team's been out there the whole game. And they were anxious. They were thinking of getting the stop and getting the ball back. And they jumped the gun. A little too eager. Yep. So they restart the clock here, and it'll be fourth and three. 
at the eight. Give it to Ibis. He sidesteps, cuts it up. <laughs> and touchdown. Ibis gets in. Kind of rewarded for his hard work there. Yeah, he got him down, backed, and then they were backed up, and he got the ball back again. Mm -hmm. Slid through. Mel. They need somebody else in there. Looks like they. Man short on that extra point team. They're getting somebody that's, run in. That's not a uh, foul, though, is it? If they were on the No, you can 10. go. You, you can don't go have 10. to. No. And it's no good. It's no good, I thought. Yeah. PA guy said it was, but they officials waved it off. <laughs> Seventy-four to twelve. Yeah, you can have less than. The only thing is, you have to have what is it? Seven on the line, so you can have less, but you can't have more than eleven. So. <laughs> we could have gone ten anyway. Yeah, but it's all academic anyway. They missed the extra point, and now they'll kick it off. So. It's the first Waukee score since the second quarter. Well, there you go. 53. That's the Bulldog defense holding up through a quarter <laughs> and a half. Well, almost two quarters. <laughs> well, yeah, you could look at it that way. <clears throat> There's a squiver. It was touched. Yep. So that won't be a penalty that goes out of bounds because it was touched by Tumble player. And the clock keeps running as we hit five minutes to play. And a Tumble will come back out. I'm I'm going deep if I'm <laughs> a Tumble. Yep. They've had been little pass attempts. They've had some success. A little bit of success, year, so. yeah. And Dennison has had time back there. A flea flicker or something here would work. He's just going straight past, throws it up, and picked off at the 49. Cuts it outside 30 and pulled down at the 26. Well, they listened, but it was not good advice. Carter Smith picked it off at the 49. Well, he had um, yeah, he had he, Roming, Rominger out there, but he it it looked, looked like, like he went to his middle receiver. I think, yeah, or he thought Rominger was going to cut inside because he threw it to the inside and Rominger was looking outside. and So it ends up being another turnover. This time by the pass, the interception. Waukee's had, what, six fumbles. They've recovered from. And handoff. Is that Hemry? I believe so, number one. Yep. As we hit three-minute mark, clock still rolling. Looks like Nick Witzel in there. We got Dowling Catholic 54, Sioux City East 7 in the third quarter. Centennial beat Fort Dodge, looks like. Southeast Polk all over Sioux City West. Ankeny beats Lincoln. 
There we go. Johnston, Indianola. Oh, Indianola 17-0 over Johnston. Yeah, and that's the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, so handoff up the middle. I miss running so looks like Indianola well, will come in here and it'll be a 2-3-0 and in the district matchups next week. Yeah, assuming that's those are correctly reported yeah. stats, that's where we're at here is Indianola versus Waukee. Unless Johnston makes a comeback. They're down 17 there. And you saw Dowling was only up 7, and now they're up over 50, which kind of makes me question whether those No, they are probably were, though. Right. You know, you think of the way Dowling plays. They wore you, wear you down. I know I know a fellow broadcaster's son plays up there for Sioux City East, and he said their big thing is depth. His son plays on the offensive line. And so that's, you know, that's Dowling's M.O. They wear you down yeah. over the game. And... He's going to take a knee. Yeah, they take a knee as the kind of well, key fans chuckle a little bit. But, well, it sounds like it's setting up to be a – could be a pretty good matchup next week, Joe. Indianola back here will have uh, against Waukee. Both teams will come in at 3-0 and in the district and battling for the uh, top spot in the district. Yep, and that's – We'll see if Johnston can hang around and stay in it as well because they're not completely out of no, it. No, they're not, and they will face uh, Waukee in that final game, you know. So, you know, you, like you talked about, it could be, say, Indianola comes in here and, and uh, you know, Waukee beats them and then – or. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of scenarios. A lot of scenarios <laughs> playing out at the moment. It's but, almost uh, like the wild card. The scenario here is the clock is running, and that will probably be, this will probably be the last snap right here. And uh, 74-12. I don't know. It's a question. What is, what is Waukee? They, I mean, they executed when they had to here, you know, but. They only really got about a quarter of football. In yeah, they only the got, starters, yeah. So. The starters got, didn't get a lot of quality football in there, so we'll see. Whereas Indianola had a, a appeared to be it was no score at half, and then they were up 17 nothing here in the second half. So let's take a break. We'll come back, wrap this one up here after this on CISN.TV. Why do I look for the seal? It's about trust. Whether I'm buying a car, hiring a contractor, finding a tax preparer or an honest mechanic. The Better Business Bureau seal means this business meets high standards. When I see the seal, I know I'll get what I pay for. No more taking chances and no more worries. And I feel good about supporting local businesses. My life is so much easier knowing I can always trust BBB accredited businesses. It pays to look for the seal. See for yourself at BBB.org backslash. Schottenkirk Ford Indianola's kickoff event. This month only. Take $16,000 off MSRP on every brand new 2019 Ford F-150 Crew Cab XLT 4x4 in stock. Plus, first responders receive an additional $1,000 bonus cash on new 2019 F-150 Super Duty, Expedition, and Ranger. New 2019 Fusion and Escape starting at just $18,999. Ford fans drive to Indianola to buy Ford. It's a kickoff event. Schottenkirk Ford Indianola. SchottenkirkFord.com. Here at Waukee, the final handshakes here as Waukee wins 74-12 to over Ottumwa. And, well, Joe, there's just a big turning point there. Ottumwa had that ball at the 50. They fumble it, and then Waukee goes on a scoring binge to uh, wrap it up. And they, they score seven straight times, and that pretty much put the game away there for good tonight. Yeah, yeah and that's, we kind of saw the, the second half of that game slow way down and Get a lot of t extra time for a lot of guys who normally haven't gotten on the field. But, yeah, you know, Waukee really, we were talking, they only really played about the first half of the first quarter at, you know, full force. By then the game was kind of out of hand, mm -hmm. scoring three touchdowns in 35 seconds. So Waukee goes to 3-0 and here in District 6. Now they move uh, a game above 500 now at 4-3. and and that other game, it was Indianola leading Johnson 17 to nothing. So Indianola will come in here next week, sounds like. Both teams at 3-0, and and that should be a good ball game. Yep, a very interesting matchup. A lot, of, a lot on the line there, too, as well. And that's all you can ask for here with this late season uh, district play. As both teams are looking for the playoff berth. All righty. Well, the final here again, the Waukee Downs. 
Uh, Atumwa 74 to 12. That's going to wrap it up here on CISN.TV. It's time now for Waukee High School Football on the Central Iowa Sports Network. CISN.TV is the state's premier source for high school sports streaming. Cut! Touchdown, Waukee! Waukee on the throw. Randall complete for the first down. Waukee Football on CISN.TV is brought to you by Schottenkirk Chevrolet. Shields. The Better Business Bureau. Central Bank and Mid-American Energy. Now, let's go to our CISN.TV crew for Waukee High School Football.